In this crowded neighbourhood outside Cape Town, one in four adults is HIV positive. Over the years, South Africa has taken impressive steps to manage the epidemic, dispensing drugs that allow people to live healthy lives. But millions of people here, and indeed around the world, are not on HIV medication. There are lots of issues. Some, they don't want to get tested, they don't want to know. I think it's the stigma around HIV. And that's a problem, not just for them, but potentially for a world now battling a new COVID pandemic. That's because people with untreated HIV have weakened immune systems. And if they catch COVID too, then the new virus can linger inside them for months. Your immune system would kick a virus out fairly quickly if fully functional. In somebody where immunity is, is suppressed, that virus may be able to continue for many months, replicating, you know, and making mutancy. more mutating as it goes. Scientists hunting for new COVID variants here in South Africa have already detected two cases of extensive mutations occurring in people with untreated HIV. But that's also happened a dozen times in other parts of the world. We see many mutations, which, which raise to a very plausible explanation that individuals that are immune suppressed from many different reasons, yeah, could be, uh, could be basic a source of virus evolution. This is a delicate subject. Many people living with HIV across Africa already face stigma, and scientists don't want to add to that. They point out that there are many other reasons why people's immune systems can be weakened, including malnutrition, cancer treatment, and diabetes. There's also concern here that while Africa may be home to the world's biggest HIV epidemic, the continent should not be seen as a focal point for new COVID variants. We've seen the five variants we've had right now, they come from four different continents. So this is to, to scapegoat Africa in a situation where variants have already risen in the other continents is simply outrageous. The answer, scientists say, is to speed up the rollout of COVID vaccines in Africa, to prioritize all those with weak immune systems and to make sure people with HIV are given all the support they need. Andrew Harding, BBC News, Johannesburg.